Hey peoples, this is another movie review of the Netflix film, The Two Popes, and this movie is super captivating. The reason it's captivating is because of the conversation between our main two characters, which are Pope Benedict and Pope Francis, which I guess he's not Pope at the time, so I guess it would just be Francis. But the movie is split between two different things, which is their conversation and then flashbacks to show the history of a character. But the best part about the movie is the conversation. This movie actually had me thinking, when's the last time I've seen a conversation in a movie? Like a real conversation. Most conversations in movies nowadays somehow feel like action pieces as well because people are saying things quick and fast and it's to relay information to the audience, but you don't really get the sense of an actual conversation. That's what we get here and that's what makes it so engaging. It doesn't look like we're watching two people acting, it just feels like we're a part of the conversation and that's what really sucks you in. And it's just fascinating to watch two people who believe in the same religion have two different points of views and two different ways they go about doing things or practicing their religion. I would say Pope Benedict is more of the traditionalist, so he believes in the rules, but he also separates himself from the people. He's in this fancy big place that he lives in. He eats alone. He's not really connected. Francis, on the other hand, is more similar to Jesus. He lives with the people, he cooks and feeds with people, he goes to bars and watches football slash soccer with people, and he's really likable and everyone around him just really connects with him. This is not a comedic movie, but it's just humorous to watch the differences between both men and their mentalities when they approach certain things. The film does a great job of captivating moods at the time. For instance, when both characters are talking and they're not agreeing, you feel that tension. Where one person is getting upset and the other person is kind of on the defensive, trying to not form this into a fight. And in other moments, you feel this uneasiness of just being uncomfortable because you can tell that these two people don't really mix or you wouldn't see them in the same circle out in the world. So their personalities kind of clash. Especially with Francis being this somewhat everyday man and Pope Benedict being a hierarchy or just this royal figure that he presents himself as. The directing slash camera work was kind of confusing for me because at points it felt like a regular movie, you know, just sit, point, shoot, that's what it looked like. And other times it felt more akin to The Office or Parks and Rec where the camera would zoom in on characters to see their reaction to what another character said, like it was handheld in more of a documentary type style. It's not that way throughout the movie, so I don't understand why they did that at certain points. In other points, it was just a regular point and shoot type of movie. I didn't get that. I do like the use of color in this movie. They have some black and white scenes and then the black and white scenes switch the color matching up with what a character just said as if like, oh, I got a revelation and then you get color in the movie. That was really good. And the movie does look very beautiful. Now, some of it, I can't give credit to the directing and the film work because I mean, for a lot of the scenes they're inside this giant church. You have the paintings and the artwork, all of that they didn't do. It's just you point the camera at the subject and it's gonna look incredible because the things are already naturally incredible. But overall, the movie does look beautiful. Also, I really did enjoy the music in this. It's very lovely and it fits the tone of the film. And one last random thing, my favorite quote in the movie was, the most important qualification of any leader is not wanting to be leader. And somebody in the movie was quoting Plato. And I think that is an overarching theme in the whole movie. Francis does not want to be Pope. He's a very humble guy. He doesn't live a lavish lifestyle. Even though he is presented with those things, he can have those things, but he just turns them down. But Benedict, on the other hand, from the beginning, wanted to be a Pope. And the people around him were saying, he's not the one because he really wants it versus the person who doesn't want it is usually the best leader. And you get examples of that throughout the film that match that quote. But yeah, overall, this is a great film. I didn't talk much about the flashbacks and the stories that are told. Those are good, but I think the best part of this movie is the conversation and watching two people interact. I just have fun with that type of stuff because it's two personalities in the same room with two different mindsets, but also talking about the same exact thing as in their belief system and how they go about practicing their beliefs. That was just really engaging for me. So I do suggest watching this movie. It's really good. You'll really like it. And also, before I forget, there is an end credit scene or scenes during the credits. So stay tuned for that. They're really fun. But that's all, peoples. Thank you for listening. Please do me a big favor and like and consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. And above all else, write down in the comments what you thought about this movie, what you liked, what you didn't like. I want to talk to you. That's going to be so much fun. Please continue to have a great day. God bless. I'll talk to you later.